Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this video, I am going to discuss how do you measure power consumed by a single phase load in the sense at the end of this video you will be understanding measurement of single phase power. Also how to calculate the power factor of a single phase load. Let us understand the greater details. Now how do you measure single phase power? How do you measure single phase power? What is the answer? So we can use a single watt meter. A single watt meter or one watt meter is sufficient to measure the power consumed by a single phase load. For example, it may be incandescent lamp or it may be LED or whatever it can be. Now what is a watt meter? What do you understand by the watt meter? Yes, watt meter is a device which is used to measure real power. The watt meter reads the real power. Real power or you can call it as active power or true power. All are same only. I, I made a video regarding this or you can write it as a true power. True power. Make a note of this. How watt meter look like? So in electric circuit, in electric diagrams, watt meter you can represent like this. There are two coils. Okay, like this. This is a symbol for watt meter. Make a circle also, prepare a circle in this fashion. Draw a neat circle. There are two coils available. It is very clear that a watt meter, there are two, two coils. I would like to mark by using separating so that you will understand. This particular coil you can see, this is your current coil. Current coil which is connected series to the circuit. The second one is known as, you can write it as voltage coil or one can say it's a pressure coil. Pressure coil that will be connected parallel to the circuit. Current coil reads current, the pressure coil reads voltage. Current and voltage you can able to consider. Okay, in way power comprises of current and voltage component now. Yes. So this is regarding watt meter. Watt meter has four terminals M, L, C, V. There are four terminals in case of watt meter. The M stands for mains or supply. You can write mains or supply. Mains. L stands for load. Okay. C stands for common and V stands for voltage. Why these terms? Why it is needed? It helps for connecting very easy. Easiness. Just for the easiness we can uh, denote different letters. Remember always M and C connected always or shorted. Connected always. You have to short it. If not, you have, to, you have to short it. By using a small wire, you can able to short M and C. M and C should be connected to each other. I hope you understood. Now, how to perform the connection? How do you measure the power and power factor? Let's have a brief discussion. First of all, you can consider a load. It may be a resistive load, like the incandescent lamp or whatever it may be. Let us consider a resistive load. So, draw the resistive load. This is your resistive load. I would like to draw. Correct? Now, consider a single phase supply. Anyway, supply is needed now. Without supply, load cannot operate. So, you can write line. This is your neutral, right? Single phase supply now. Now, you have to connect the watt meter. How to connect the watt meter? So, current coil that is connected series now. Cur current coil will always connect series to the circuit. Now I wanted to draw the 
voltage coil or pressure coil this is your voltage coil or pressure coil that will connect parallel no i already explained this so you can connect like this this is your voltage coil so make a circle usually we we have to draw the circle like this draw neatly i'm drawing the free hand drawing m l c and v this is your resistive load resistive load correct so okay, if you want you can connect the ammeter for measure the current ammeter this is your ammeter ac ammeter now you represent like this range also you can mention 0 to 10 ampere type of ammeter is moving iron type ammeter to measure AC current no so moving iron type ammeter here you can connect the voltmeter AC voltmeter only voltmeter you can select the range of 0 to 300 that is sufficient 0 to 300 volt moving iron that is sufficient single phase supply right so this is your input what is the input what could be the input single phase uh, 230 volt 50 hertz ac supply this is your input if you want you can draw mention the range of wattmeter also like uh, what is the operating voltage 300 volt 10 amps upf because it's a resistive load then better go for upf wattmeter only unity power factor wattmeter if it is led then you can go for L L lpf wattmeter like that you can plan accordingly now provide the supply provide the supply supply switch is closed supply switch is closed okay supply switch is closed then take down the reading of fat meter take down uh, the watt meter reading whatever the watt meter reading you are getting now that is the total power consumed by the load that means real power real power is equal to watt meter reading watt meter reading you will get the reading then you can note down the watt meter reading so that is your real power now how to calculate the power factor of load power factor of load how to calculate this any idea so what is power factor power factor is equal to cos phi right cos phi that is equal to it is a ratio of real power to the apparent power correct now let me know where you where you will get the real power so you will get the real power watt meter reading so real power from the watt meter so you will get the real power from the watt meter divided by what is apparent power c this ammeter and uh, uh, voltmeter if you multiply the product of this ammeter reading and voltmeter reading then definitely you will get the apparent power i'll be time being i'll be writing va w divided by va that is your apparent power correct so this is regarding the power factor so this is regarding the power factor of a how to calculate the power factor of the load so using a single watt meter you can measure the uh, power consumed by single phase load suppose instead of a resistive load if i am using any type of led if i am using led in, instead of incandescent lamp if i am using led you need to use you have to replace uh, upf at lpf watt meter with upf watt meter that you need to do okay so this is the way how to calculate the power consumed by single phase load so in this session what i discussed is i have discussed about how to measure the single phase power using the single phase power how to measure the single phase power using a watt meter i can measure single phase power later i have shown what is watt meter what is current coil and pressure coil the significance of watt meter uh, afterwards i have drawn the circuit diagram uh, from the circuit diagram if you get if you provide the supply you will get the watt meter reading the watt meter reads the real power or true power the power factor you can measure the ratio of watt meter reading divided by ammeter and 